Hi folks, so today we have a new router, a big mammoth router, and let me, uh, it's a long name, I'm going to have to read it off. It is the Netgear Nighthawk AX4 4 stream AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. It's a mammoth router. Now I just set it up, and at the end of this video I'll show you the setup, kind of little setup videos I have of it, and the little segments that I did took me probably about 15 or 20 minutes and it took a little longer because at first I couldn't get on the internet so I had to call Comcast get them to reset my modem there and then once that was done things went a little smoother so I would say that was like a five minute delay um, the little included app that you use on your cell phone really helps you set it up and I'm getting good great download speeds and good upload speeds better than I was getting before and on my modem I'm not used to seeing all blue lights that's something new to me I've been looking at amber lights for a long time and to be clear I'm not sure which is better blue or amber I assume blue and amber means trouble but I would have assumed that was the modem causing that and not the router but apparently I was wrong so I will come back and update this review um, after some time to see how reliable the router is and see if I have indeed a better internet connection without dropouts. In the past I've had a lot of dropouts, it works fine and then it just stops working and I gotta go down and reset everything. So we'll see and please stay tuned and you can see the setup files and overall it's a good product. Thanks for watching. So it says first download the Nighthawk app to install your router. So I'm going to do that and I have an iPhone. Okay, so I found the app just by typing in Netgear into my search. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. Okay, so you have to create an account for your Netgear app to work properly. So you have to enter in all your information. Okay, now I do like this because it says whenever a new device is put on my network, it has a two-step verification. So send me a notification on my phone. So I do like that. Now it's asking me if I want to install a new Netgear product, and the answer is yes. Okay, now it is telling me to reboot my modem. It says unplug your internet modem, remove and reinsert any backup batteries. Plug your modem back in and wait for it to power on. Okay, now it's telling me to connect the router. Okay, so that was strange. It took the router several minutes to come up. At first, it just wasn't there. The power light was blinking and no other lights were on. You didn't see the 2.4 gig light or the 5 gig. And when I looked at the computer, it just wasn't there. So now I have it. So I'm going to click on it, and we'll click connect. It should ask me for my password. Okay, so now I'm connected, but yet I have no internet. So it says on the app to return here. Hopefully you can see that click next. And this is router not found. Wonderful! Okay, so I've forgotten I turned Wi-Fi off because I was doing this and I want to use the cell data to do this so I had to enter in the modem I entered that into the, my Wi-Fi with the password so let's see what happens try again it says connecting the router route detected cables connected and it's checking things checking internet connection I don't think you can see that Okay, so I had to call the cable company and have an automated message come out and reset the modem. And I was able to apparently update the firmware in this. I'm waiting for this router to come back on. My computer does not recognize the internet yet. Um, the router's not here right now because I guess it hasn't come up yet. But uh, we'll see when it comes up if I can get it on the internet. And then it says here on the app, searching for the network. Okay, so everything is connected. As you can see, I've got um, saw blue lights here. And I, you know what? It's been years since I had my old router, and I'm used to that being amber. And I've, I haven't seen saw blue lights in a long time. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not a bad thing. 
I can tell you this modem takes a long time to reboot, so be advised of that. But I've got internet and everything is working properly. And I'm gonna let's see, let me check the speeds here.